All right. Good morning. Yeah, morning. It's 1046. Might as well say a morning. Good morning, IHSA football family. How you doing? Uh, this one video is for the class of 2023 and 2024 watch list. So let's get some things uh, straight. COVID. It killed the chance to process game film, especially for the class of 2024, which was a complete pain in the ass to find. Class of 2023, you guys are still waiting on a spring season. And I know a lot of college coaches are waiting for that spring season film to happen. Um, I'm excited for the spring season to happen. So please understand, things do change. And again, I'm announcing the class of 2023, 2024. This is March 10th, 2021. So more names will be added to this list after the spring season. No doubt about that. I have no doubt about that. That's going to happen. That is really going to happen. Um, Again, follow Coach Big Pete and Deep This Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com if you have any questions. Um, just a quick reminder as well. Recruits, fill out the Deep Dish Football recruiting question. Make sure I have your information. The information is shared with college coaches for absolutely free. I don't charge them. Nothing. That's why I'm respected so much by college coaches is because I don't charge any of the coaches any of that BS. Make sure I have your information and um, make sure you email to me at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. And remember, recruiting is 100% free. It, that's all it is, it's 100% free. Um, don't pay for a recruiting service. It is an absolute scam. All right. <clears throat> so let's begin with the class of 2023. Uh, Again, there's two years, passion, change. I guarantee you there's going to be a couple recruits that are going to drop off this list because they quit football for a 2023 uh, watch list. Um, this list is based on freshman game film and a lot of showcases that I have uh, seen. So let's get started, shall we? All right. <clears throat> First name on the list, big-time recruit. He's got a lot of Power 5 offers. Miles McAvey, offensive lineman in East St. Louis. Um, there's not that much you can say. He is the top recruit and one of the top recruits in the nation. Um, he's graded out in the top five percentile in Illinois. Um, he's graded out in the top five percentile of the nation. He is that damn good. And I was talking to a couple of the national scouts. They can't believe how talented this kid is. Miles McAvey is an absolute stud. Simple as that. Next one, Chris Farrell, offensive lineman out of Lyle, still very, very raw. Um, it's going to be interesting to see out of the spring season, but great frame um, and just great athleticism as well. Two sport players as well. Chris Farrell, offensive lineman from Lyle High School. Keep an eye out for him. Next one. Um, let's go down a little bit. James DeSato Hutchins out of Edwardsville, transfer from Luther North of Missouri to Edwardsville. He's a star quarterback, 6'5 frame, um, great athleticism. Saw him at Next Level Athletics. Shout out to Greg Holcomb. He's definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. Uh, Brooks Barr, defensive end, Lyle Academy. Love the kid's athleticism. The kid's going to be an absolute stud. Um, and probably he's going to probably even grade out to the top 5% when we talk about next year's recruits going into the watch list when we talk class of 2023. Uh, Roderick Pierce, defensive tackle, saw him work out a little bit. Very impressive for me. Athle overall athleticism, overall violence to the hands. Um, Roderick Pierce, uh, brother Ice, keep an eye out for it. Joey Newman, out of Antioch, athlete, size, unbelievable. Great frame, great off athleticism. Definitely another Antioch kid to keep an eye out for. Cooper Starks, offensive lineman, North Meg, still very, very raw. Um, weight's a little bit of a issue, especially with some of the college coaches. Again, um, We'll see how he improves. It'll be very interesting to see how he improves. Um, I think the kid's going to be a stud out of North Mac High School. Cooper Starks, offensive lineman. Deion Kane Tolini, athlete, Oswego, can play a lot of spots. I really, really enjoy this kid's athleticism. He's going to be huge for Oswego in the coming years. Keep an eye out for him. Cole Robinson can play offensive lineman, defensive lineman. I like him in offensive lineman out of OPRF. Oak Park River Forest High School, another underrated kid. I show be a door athlete, Oswego East, um, basketball player as well. 
multi-sport athlete. That's what I love to see. And especially coming out of Oswego East, they got a pretty great group of athletes coming out of that high school. I show me a door is a top class of 2023 recruit in the state of Illinois. Luke Risky, out of offensive lineman out of Huntley. Again, he's going to be a Wayne C guy as we get into the spring season, but he is a top offensive lineman in the state of Illinois. Love his frame, love his work ethic. He's a hell of a player. Charlie Newton um, impressed a lot of people in the showcases. Um, I'm impressed with his athleticism, his tenacity to get the ball, keep an eye out for him. Charlie Newton, wide receivers, Walter Payne Prep, class of 2023. Ivan Erickson, 6'6", defensive end, out of Marmion Academy, probably another top defensive uh, lineman recruit for the class of 2023. Um, I see him, again, very raw. Again, this is the class of 2023. There's going to be a lot of rawness you're going to see. Wait for these kids to develop even more. But Ivan Erickson is definitely a kid to watch. Marquise Palmer, running back, East St. Lewis, Marquise, I consider him one of the top running backs in the state of Illinois, in the Midwest. The kid is an absolute stud. Um, I love the way he changes directions, and I love his speed. He's a kid to keep an eye out for. Marquise Palmer, and again, it's East St. Louis. What more can you say? It's East St. Louis. All right, let's go down even more. Dayton Weinbach, Bennett Academy, Tenacity, Bennett Academy, Bennett Academy, Overall athleticism impressive. Gets to the ball care. Again, he's going to be huge in the spring. Jake Sturney, quarterback, Lyle Academy. Very impressed with his freshman game film. Was impressed uh, the winter of 2020 at the Boom Showcase. The kid is an absolute star. Jake Sturney out of Lyle Academy. Don't sleep on him. Ben Moynihan, quarterback, Hinsdale Central. Throw it deep. I saw him at the throw it deep. Overall, just impressed with his athleticism. Um... He's going to be a star. His uh, brother was an offensive lineman from Hinsdale Central. But Ben Moynihan is definitely a kid to keep an eye out for a quarterback out of Hinsdale Central. Another Hinsdale Central quarterback to keep an eye out for. Ryan Boyd, wide receiver, East St. Louis. East St. Louis, East St. Louis, East St. Louis. Uh, most likely, he's going to be a star wide receiver. Uh, he's going to be highly recruited. And he's from East St. Louis. That's all you need to know. <laughs> he's a star. Simple as that. Chris McKinney, uh, linebacker, home at Flossmore. Really love the guy's kid's tenacity. Again, great field vision as well. He's going to make a huge impact on Homer Flossmore's spring season. Cannon Leonard, offensive lineman, Air Corps West. His brother's a great lineman. He's going to be a great lineman. He's 6'7", six, 6'8", six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he's, he's huge. He also plays basketball as well. Great athleticism. You know the whole thing. Athletic big men, especially their sophomore season. Uh, playing basketball. Very impressive. Again, Cannon Leonard, a uh, player to keep an eye out for. Grant Larkin, athlete, Nico Valley. I was blown away by him um, at the throw deep shot to Jeff Christensen uh, workout. Grant Larkin, to me, I have him graded out at the top five percentile for the class of 2023-2021 version. I think he is going to be an absolute star for Nico Valley. Absolute star. Charlie uh, Jagush, offensive lineman for Rockford Alleman. Another great frame kid. Um, he's got to work a little bit on his athleticism and especially on his footwork, but definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. Nick Hawkins, athlete, uh, Lamont High School. Uh, again, great frame, great size. We're going to see even more of this kid um, and see how he develops. Be very interesting. Blaine Haley, offensive lineman, Olympia. Again, great frame. Uh, work on his athleticism, footwork. It's going to be huge, but Blaine Haley is going to be a huge recruit coming out of Olympia High School. Danny Novickis, uh, defensive edge, edge rusher, all the other stuff. Mount Carmel High School. Um, it's Mount Carmel. They get the, so they get some of the best athletes in the, in, uh, uh, the state. Uh, but Danny Novickis is definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. Very impressed with his pass rushing skills. Tyson Beck, edge rusher, home of Flossmore. Um, just a showcase star. Um, workout star. Um, he is an elite edge rusher out of the state of Illinois. Again, I consider grading him out at top. I can't, I think I have him, yes, I have him graded out as the top 10 percentile for the class of 2023 recruits. He is definitely a hell of a player. Let's go down even more. Pierce Walsh, Ben Academy wide receiver. Um, 
He's impressive. Um, to me, Pierce Walsh, you can put him into that thing of um, a Max Judd who plays at Eastern Illinois. I really like the kid's athleticism. Love his hands. Um, he's going to be huge for Benedict Academy this spring. DJ McMillan, I have him as a defensive end. I know a lot of college coaches have him defensive end. Some college coaches have him as an offensive lineman. I like him at defensive end for St. Francis. Um, pure athlete stud. Um, he's got some offers. going to get some more offers. TJ McMillan, defensive end out of St. Francis. Cole Teschner, transfer uh, from Schaumburg to Montini. Cole Teschner, quarterback. Um, again, impressive. Um, impressive with his throws, uh, especially what I saw in the summer. Um, very impressive with his reads as well. I think the big test for him is when he gets to Montini High School and he faces and he faces elite secondaries. We'll see what happens. But he is a top recruit in the state of Illinois. Ben Wallace, offensive lineman, Metamora, frame, frame, frame. Um, still very raw. Athleticism needs to work on the feet. But again, top offensive tackle, uh, offensive lineman prospect in the state of Illinois. Carl Schmalz, defensive end, Niles Notre Dame, overall great athleticism. Um, great handwork is too more of a polished defensive pass rusher on Niles Notre Dame, but keep a name out for him. Paris Patterson, when we talk about Miles um, McAvey, Paris Patterson's the next big offensive lineman from East St. Louis. He's going to be heavily, heavily recruited. Um, and again, he could be a top national recruit too. So that's how good East St. Louis is. CJ Campos out of Lamont. Um, he is another top linebacker prospect. I have him graded out as a top five uh, percent, top five percentile for the class of twenty twenty three recruits. He's going to be impressive. Underrated player right now, Keaton Fagan out of Arthur Love. Yada yada yada. The whole high school name. You'll see it on the list. Caden Fagan, to me, is just an extremely talented player. Small school star, but he's going to get big eyes on him. Big eyes on him. He is just, he's something special. He's a special uh, recruit. Tyson Kramer, offensive lineman, Pan uh, Pontiac. Also going to be a long snapper as well, but Tyson Kramer is a name to watch as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, especially when he gets to the summer camp season, how he performs. Hopefully we have a summer camp season. Chris Tarek, offensive lineman, Glenbar West, frame, frame, frame. Um, again, great handwork. More of a polished offensive lineman than other offensive lineman, but Chris Tarek, um, he's going to get a lot of looks by Division One coaches. Uh, Jermichael Towns, linebacker Bremen, was notified by uh, some of the high school coaches about Jermichael Towns. Uh, liked him, looked at him, liked his work. Um, still very, very raw, um, still has intent on some of his reads, but he's another player to watch in the state of Illinois. Next, next big quarterback, we have Aiden Gray, Naperville North. Um, he is going to be a huge star for Naperville North, especially with those great wide receivers, and especially he's got another up-and-coming wide receiver, Williams. Um, Aiden Gray, to me, he has, he's grown to his part. Um, still a little raw, but I love his throws he makes off of uh, off of the run. Definitely kid to watch. Um, Caleb Miller, athlete, Nazareth Academy. Impressive the whole summer. Uh, for summer camp season, keep an eye out for her. Ross Dansdale, linebacker, Weedon North. Again, heavy hitter. Um, very athletic. Uh, can also play tight end, but a kid to keep an eye out for her. Jacob Klink, offensive lineman, Hanahu. Um, again, great footwork. Um, still a little bit worried. Um, a little bit worried, especially with the college coaches. Again, the big thing is uh, speed, and that's going to be huge for Jacob Klink. Um, but I love his handwork. Um, and he's, again, one of the more polished offensive linemen in the state of Illinois. Boston Bauer, athlete out of Huntley. Where do you put him? Defensive end, linebacker, yada, yada, yada. He's just one of those special type of players that um, you need on a college football team, and Boston Bauer is going to be one of them. Made a name for himself his freshman year. He's going to keep making a name for himself, keep an eye out for Boston Bauer and Huntley. Keep an eye out for Huntley, by the way. Huntley's got a lot of kids that are going to explode onto the recruiting scene after the spring season. DeMarcus Caston out of Brother Rice. <laughs> the, kid, the kid 
impressed me at the fist football shout the fist football workout um i think he's going to be huge for brother rice brother rice has got two two impressive defensive linemen he's a kid to keep an eye out for gabe rosen offensive lineman evanston frame 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 um love his athleticism love his tenacity loves the way he love the way he finishes plays he's definitely a kid noah taylor defensive back element um great speed great athleticism Still very raw, um, especially with the hip tracing of uh, wide receivers, um, especially um, his patience on development of plays, but that's every defensive back at that, that age. Every defensive back at that age, um, patience is a huge thing, and Noah Taylor is going to be one of them. Logan Lester, athlete, Kenwood Academy. He's another huge name. Uh, keep an eye out for him. He's going to get more offers. He's, another, he's the next big star to come out of Kenwood Academy. Uh, Brandon Oh, I'm going to, and I massacre the last names. So I apologize. Brandon, uh, Amanda, Amanda Pong. Uh, he's an athlete, Downers Grove, great size, um, still growing into his body. A um, little bit of a top heavy type of uh, wide receiver that I see. But again, he is going to do something special. Great, great hands. Best hand, some of the best hands in the state of Illinois. Brandon, um, Amana, Ama Pong. Um, out of Downers Grove South. Next. All right. Keyshawn Singleton. Sacred Heart Griffin. Another big time Sacred Heart Griffin that you're going to keep an eye out for. Um, he'll be a big name wide receiver. Austin Barrett, offensive lineman at St. Charles East. When working, you say he's getting a lot of offers. He's going to get more offers, and he's going to be a top offensive lineman in the nation. And most likely, most likely a Big Ten, uh, top Big Ten player, and he's going to make a big name for himself in the Big Ten Conference. That's all i got to say. Michael uh, Costa-Tanova, offensive lineman, Loyola Academy, great frame. This is a great class for offensive linemen. Great class for offensive linemen. Do not sleep on him. Jalen Duffy, another Warren Township athlete that just impressed everyone in the summer. He's going to keep impressing play people. Jalen Duffy, athlete, Warren Township, um, again, to me, graded out with that top 10 percentile for the class of 2023 players. He's a kid to keep a name, name out for. Andre Cruz, running back, Simeon, elite running back in the state of Illinois. Um, he's going to be a big name coming out of Simeon um, and has a chance to be a power five running back. Jacob Welsh, offensive lineman, Johnsburg, huge, huge offensive lineman for Johnsburg. Um, really love his athleticism, love his handwork. Love his tenacity, and again, he finished play. He finishes plays. Tyler Jansa, linebacker, Batavia. Yes, Tyler Jansa, Batavia. He's going to be an absolute beast. Great athleticism, flies to the ball, puts you on your ass. He's going to be a big time recruit out of Batavia. Ryan Sims, wide receiver, Marist. He's getting more offers and more and more and more offers. He is that top wide receiver in Illinois. He will be huge. Malik Easley. Simeon, people have a more wide receiver. People may have a defensive back. I'll just have him as an athlete because he's still young. Um, he's another big name with Andre Cruz out of Simeon. Malik Easley, do not sleep on a kid. Um, oh, I can't sleep on a kid because the kid's already huge. Um, to me, Malik Easley, um, when we talk about superb, Superb players coming out of CPS, and we talk about historic. He has the chance to be in that historic ranks of players coming from out of the CPS. Malik Easley is that kid. Anthony Cunningham, uh, Bel Bel Belleville West East, Belleville East. Um, great frame, still growing into his body. Um, great athleticism as well. I cannot wait to see his spring season um, film. He's going to be special. Carter Baird, linebacker out of only high school. He's going to be slept on for the next uh, year and a half. Um, he's going to make a name for himself. He made a name for himself his freshman year. Had a great group of tackles. Flies to the ball. Wasn't afraid to take on seniors and juniors. But Carter Baird out of only high school is another kid to keep an eye out for. Let's go down even more. Uh, Damon Walters out of Bolingbrook. Another kid to keep an eye out for from Bolingbrook. And I guarantee you there's going to be more kids from Bolingbrook that are going to be added on to the watch list after the next six weeks of spring season. Damon Walters is one of them. He's going to be an elite defensive back, rated out to me in the top 10 defensive backs in the state of Illinois for the last 2023. Amir uh, Chauffeur, athlete, East St. Louis, can play both sides of the ball. 
underrated. Uh, I, yes, I see St. Louis. I consider him underrated. People need to pay attention to this kid. This kid's going to be real special. And my last one, he's heavily recruited. He's going to be even more recruited, even more, especially after a six-week season and we get into the summer. He's going to blow people away. Khalil Tate out of Kenwood. Um, unbelievably talented. Another talented athlete out of the CPS. All right. So let's get to the watch list of 2024. And it is a small list. And again, I do apologize for being a small list. But again, there's been no game film. I had to go through eighth grade game film showcases, workouts, the whole shebang. I had to talk to high school coaches. So... Let's get started. Again, three years is a long time. I guarantee you a couple players from this list, they're going to quit football, and they're going to go into other sports and other things. But that's just what, that's the way life is. And again, if you don't love football, if you don't like playing it, you're not going to enjoy it in college. So I understand. So, and again, COVID really killed this class 2024 as we get into the spring season. I guarantee you there's going to be more names added after this week six for the class of 2024 recruits. All right. Tyson Griffin out of Morgan Park um, was warned about him. Um, D'Angelo Hudson, shout out to him, former recruit out of Simeon, uh, a college football player. But Tyson Griffin, big shout, uh, big shout out to his game film. Hell of a player, athlete out of Morgan Park. He's going to be huge for Morgan Park. Armand Stewart, he's the big time recruit now out of Illinois, wide receiver out of Bolingbrook. He's got a lot of offers. Uh, especially coming from the class of 2024. He's a kid to keep an eye out for. Arthur Palacki, quarterback, Willowbrook, saw him out the throw deep showcase, blown away with his performance. Um, he's a freshman quarterback. Again, that's putting a little bit too much pressure because he never played a freshman season, but he is going to be one of the better players to come out of the state of Illinois. Arthur Palacki, quarterback out of Willowbrook. Great size, great frame, um, great throws, great arm. Uh, Narky, uh, Naharky McFarland, athlete, I see... Uh, Immaculate Conception, I see in Elmhurst, is a star. Is an absolute star. Was warned, was not warned, but was told about him. Um, me being from originally from Forest Park, was told about his his great athletic prowess and how of a, how the player is going to be. But Nakari Far McFarland, athlete out of IC, big shout out to Forest Park. How you doing, FP? Uh, next one, Julius Ellens, Glenn Bar West. Oh, Glenn Bar West has got a stud. Julius Ellens is that kid. He is that kid. Do not sleep on the. He, I gotta say, stop. I gotta stop saying sleep because this kid is something special. He's gonna be huge for Glenbard West in these coming years. Eddie Turek, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, mostly a defensive lineman on the Lions Township. Great frame. Could make an immediate impact his freshman season in this uh, six week season. He's a kid to keep an eye out for. Eddie Turek, Lions Township. Um, he's working with fist football, if I'm not mistaken. Great athleticism. Next one, Ethan Middleton, athlete, St. Rita. Um, still a little, very, very, very raw eighth grader. Uh, going looking at his game film. We'll be interested to see how he produces his first year at St. Rita, especially if he gets into the sophomore squad in it. But he's a kid to look out for. Um, I really like his athleticism. I love his tenacity. He acts like a senior on the field. Last one. I was warned about him by a uh, uh, coach uh, Drindle. Um, looked at some of the looked at some of his stuff, and I, I was impressed. Um, and he's definitely a kid to keep an eye out for. Luke Williams, athlete out of Naperville North, class of 2024. Again, this is class of 2024. More names will be added. Um, and again, follow Coach Big Pete Deep This Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Recruits, make sure I have your information filled to Deep This Football recruiting questionnaire. Thank you guys so much, and have a lovely day.